Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. We get a lot of requests for help in identifying unknown implants, and today I wanna to talk about the best ways to determine what those mystery implants are. Typically, the easiest place to start is with a radiograph, but to be useful, it needs to be optimally oriented to clearly capture the characteristics of the implant. So when taking an x-ray, it's important to keep the following things in mind. First, the sensor or film should be parallel to the implant. This will provide the clearest view of the implant's unique characteristics. Second, the x-ray should capture the entire implant. The most apical end of the implant is just as important as the interface during the identification process. It may take multiple tries to get the ideal position, but this is essential for correct identification. Once you have a radiograph that shows clearly defined features of the implant, you can use an online database to match those features to known systems. The two main databases are What Implant Is That? and Osseosource, and they both work the same way. On the site, you'll choose characteristics from drop-down menus, which will narrow the list of implants until you can visually match your implant with one in the database that looks the same. The characteristics that you can choose from include thread type, implant taper, holes and grooves, and several others. There are a lot of implants that share similar characteristics, and it can sometimes be difficult to determine which one is a match. If this is the case, the next step is to get some images of the implant components, which will need to be removed from the implant. I always recommend taking photos of the screw and the interface of the abutment, as well as the implant interface if it's clearly visible. And it's important that the pictures are clear and close up. An SLR with a lens capable of macro photography is ideal, but most modern cell phone cameras are adequate as long as the phone is held steady and the image is taken with a high zoom. With the parts removed from the implant, it's also a good time to take another radiograph. With the abutment and screw removed, you'll get a better image of what the internal structure of the implant looks like, which can further aid in correctly identifying the system. Images can be sent to us through our website's upload portal, or you can also use the consulting service offered by What Implant Is That? I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.